Hi everyone, thanks a lot for watching this short video on how Cybra-QAM can help to secure some of the very sensitive NoSQL databases such as DynamoDB. We have had uh, several requests from uh, prospects, customers and partners lately asking us how Cybra can help them to provide the secure access. So that's where I thought of creating this short video which can help you in what basis Cybra can help. So this is the brief agenda I have put together. Again, we will start off sharing very briefly what is DynamoDB. Again, AWS has uh, tons of videos and documentation. You can search upon it. Then we will discuss upon whether Cybrax's existing plugins can be used and what needs to be done. Last but not the least, we will be spending majority of the time in the demonstration. So first let's see what is DynamoDB. So DynamoDB is nothing but it's a uh, managed database offering, NoSQL database by AWS. And AWS has made it so easy uh, to set up, to operate and scale a non-relational database in the cloud. These offerings can help customers to focus upon their application rather than worrying about the performance, high availability, security, reliability, backup and the needs. All the heavy lifting is done by uh, AWS. So it's a key value store and it provides a single digit latency. Unlike uh, RDS, where you need to use some of the utilities like SMS and PG admin, you don't need to use any extra utilities to manage DynamoDB. And you will be primarily doing majority of the task with the help of the management, uh, management console or with the help of the CLI or SDK based approach. For the entire access, you will be controlling it with the help of the IAM based authentication. And also all the entire access control shall be done with the help of the IAM rules and the policies. So now the question comes, how Cybera can help you to provide a secure access to DynamoDB, whether there is any existing plugin which can help help you in this entire secure access. So then my answer is always to all my prospects and the partner is why not, Cybera can help you. So let's jump onto the demonstration part. In the demonstration, we will be sharing with you one of the most important thing is what kind of a plugin we will be using. Again, I will be leveraging upon a Cybera AWS SDS Chrome plugin. To get this plugin, you can reach out to your account executive or the sales team to get the appropriate plugins. Within this entire plugin, you will see there is no need to uh, there is no need for you to manage any kind of credentials at all. So what we will be doing, we will be assuming one of the specific IAM role. So in our case, it's going to be DynamoDB full access role. Other possibility is that. If you want to monitor the entire AWS console access, so that's where you can leverage upon Cybra identity plus SWS based integration. I have created another video for that use case as well. So let's jump on to the demonstration. So in the demonstration, what we will be doing, so let me go to my, uh, AWS console first. In my AWS console, what I did, I created one of the STS login, login account. In this login account, I have supplied some of the privileges like this STS login account will be able to assume one of the specific role called Cybra DynamoDB full access role. If I go to my role tabs, in the role tab, you are able to see I have created this particular role and in terms of the permission as of now, I have assigned a DynamoDB full access permission. So what it means, the user will be able to do pretty much any to everything related to the DynamoDB access. So, so what I'll do, I'll go to my uh, PVW console, my web console and the web console, let me log in as a username and a Lucia. So Anna Lucia is our cloud user or Anna Lucia has an access to the DynamoDB privilege account. 
So once I'm able to log in, so what I'll do, I'll search it using STS. So once I search it using STS, I have configured quite a number of uh, STS based account, but for the today's demonstration, we will be leveraging upon two main account. We will be leveraging upon AWS STS login account and the DynamoDB administrator account. Let me show you on the AWS STS login account first. Once I click on this AWS STS login account, if I go to the activities, uh, if I go to the details, so detail you will be able to see, I'm using this uh, CyberArk uh, AWS key-based uh, uh, plugin. And then, so I have supplied my username, I've supplied my access key and the secret access key, then I'm bonding it to my AWS account uh, ID. So this is the first account, what I'm gonna leverage upon. The second account is our DynamoDB administrator account. If I go to the overview tab, and then you will be able to see some of the details. If I click on a show button, you will be able to see there are no credentials involved. So the reason behind is, if I click on a detail button, you are able to see, I'm binding this account to this particular login account. So which I showed you earlier, AWS key cyber, AWS SDS login account. Apart from that, so some of the key information, what you have to provide, you have to provide some of the information like which specific role you want your user or you want this login account to assume. Uh, so this is the one of the critical thing. And then you have to provide the account number and couple of other details. Again, uh, me and my colleague, we have put together an entire GitHub page. So you can go to my GitHub page. You will be able to see all the step-by-step -step details. So for this demonstration, what I'll do as a user, Anna Lucia, I'll simply click on a connect button. So let me click on a connect button again. So here uh, uh, I'm going to say, hey, creating a uh, table. So the session duration, I'm keeping it to default as 30 minutes. And you will be able to see within a second, so the new browser tab is gonna open up. So here, if you see the entire session is going to get recorded. So let me enlarge my screen and let's go to the DynamoDB. So once I go to the DynamoDB, so here you will be able to perform pretty much all the different actions here. So let's try creating a table. So I'll create a table. So here I will give a table name, testing purposes and a partition key. Let's, let's give a weather and the sort key. I'm just putting a day. I'm just putting a random, a random text over there again. So you can do whatever you want. So if I go down, so I'll simply create a table. So once I'm able to create a table, so here is the table is going to get created in a few seconds time. Okay, table has been created. Once I go to the table, then again, so what you can do, you can, uh, uh, you can add, you can create an item within the table. So let's say whether it's try is for example Tuesday let's create this item so now we have created one item again if you want to delete it if you want to update it you will be able to perform all these different actions so this is how the experience is going to look like from the user standpoint let me uh, let me log out as an initial let me log in as my vault admin user or my auditor user. So in this case, I'm gonna log in as a user Mike. And we wanna see what all actions has been performed by Anna Lucia. So what I'll do, I'll go to my privilege sessions. I'll go to the monitoring tab. In the monitoring tab, you are able to see, hey, Anna Lucia just, uh, Anna Lucia just uh, had a session leveraging upon this DynamoDB administrator account. 
and you are able to see, hey, Anna Lucia has performed all these different actions. Again, this, uh, this one is just a metadata information. If you really wanna see, hey, what exactly Anna Lucia has done, you can simply click on a play button. So what I'll do, I'll skip the item. And there you will be able to see all the different actions performed by Analysia while leveraging upon this uh, specific uh, DynamoDB administrator account. So the entire video is being played. So, so you will see, so Analysia has gone to the DynamoDB. And then from, as an Analysia, what Analysia did, she created a she created a table and uh, she created a table named testing purpose and she defined a partition key and the sort key and from there in short you will be able to see all the audit information then then she supplied uh, the, the weather and the day, day value. And that's how she was able to create an item and so on. So this is all what she did in her, uh, in her previous session. So that's pretty much from the demonstration perspective. Thanks a lot everyone for watching this short video.